Levanova Extra System Overview. Levanova Extra is an ergonomic and robust auto transfusion system with a user friendly interface developed by the same designers of the heart lung machine, S5. Customers appreciate the Extra for the unique combination of equipment features, including multiple emergency protocols, quality management controls with a built in hematocrit and wash quality indicators, data management via USB printer, and standard RS-232 computer port. Pre-operative sequestration capability, automatic or manual, and custom protocol creation. The extra auto transfusion machine is complemented with a modular vacuum system, the XVAC. This system includes both an intra-op pump and a post-op pump. The extra power switch and power cord. To power on the extra system, Push the on-off switch, located on the rear panel of the machine, directly above the power cord. During power-up, the cooling fan starts, the centrifuge light illuminates, and the extra machine is displayed on the touch screen while the system software loads. When the extra system is switched off, the power cord can be wrapped around the supports located on the back of the machine. The extra cart, maneuverability. The extra cart is a dedicated separate element fixed to the body of the machine by means of two spring levers. It has four free swiveling large diameter wheels to enhance maneuverability. A foot lever located on the front of the machine controls the locked or unlocked state of the front wheels. In addition, the rear wheels each have a similar lever to increase stability if desired. The extra cart transportability. If transport of the device is required, the extra body can be detached from the cart by means of two spring levers located on each side of the cart. When detached, the body of the machine can be lifted using the rear transport handle and the front handle together. Using the XVAC vacuum module with the extra system. The XVAC vacuum module may be used in combination with Extra when it is installed into the Extra cart and it is connected to Extra via the power and serial communications cables. The on-off switch, located on the rear panel of the XVAC module, must always be on to allow the two systems to communicate. The boot time of the vacuum module being shorter than that of Extra, the operator may operate the vacuum module immediately while the rest of the extra system powers on. XVAC Standalone Mode The vacuum module may also be used as a standalone vacuum system, completely separate from the extra, controlled using its built-in control panel and the additional power cord provided. Data Management with the Extra System The extra data download option enables the operator to import processing counts and information for blood recovery and preoperative sequestration procedures in several ways. An integrated printer module, USB ports, and RS-232 serial ports that allow one to connect to most computers and computing devices. Side hangers. In addition to the storage area under the cart, Extra has three lateral hooks on the left side designed to hang solution bags. A built-in tray holder on the right side holds the disposable tray for easier loading of the bowl set. The hooks on each side also offer extra storage of the bowl set when not processing. The two lateral hooks located below the tray holders are used to hold the waste bag during processing. IV poles and reservoir holder. IV poles are lifted by pulling up. They are lowered by lifting up the corresponding locking lever while pushing down on the pole. The reservoir holder contains a weight sensitive sensor, which allows the system to detect the current volume of the reservoir. This allows for the auto start feature to start the processing cycle as soon as a preset volume of blood is collected inside the reservoir. The centrifuge assembly. The centrifuge assembly is located at the front of the machine and includes a centrifuge lid, a centrifuge plate, and a centrifuge arm.
To open the centrifuge lid, press the button located in the center of the lid locking mechanism on the right side of the machine and lift up on the lid. To close the centrifuge lid, push it down. The centrifuge arm swings forward to lock and backward using a thumb slide to unlock. The centrifuge plate rotates at a specific RPM during processing and is not operator adjustable. The centrifuge well drain and fluid container. The centrifuge well fluid container is a non-sterile 250 milliliter capacity container used to collect fluid, such as blood spillage, or fluids used in cleaning that may exit from the centrifuge well drain via gravity drainage. The drain is located in the centrifuge well, back left. The fluid container is located under the centrifuge well. The processing pump and clamps. The processing pump moves fluids into and out of the centrifuge bowl while providing optimal flow rates. Three valves are used to control the flow of fluids during normal processing of blood. The valves determine which fluids are routed at each processing phase. The clamp lid latch closes over the valves. Extra comes with a number of built-in sensors. A barcode sensor, a hematocrit indicator, an RBC line clamp sensor, dual RBC sensors, a fluid loss sensor, wash quality sensors, and an air sensor. The extra touchscreen control panel. The extra screen lights up during boot up. The extra control panel is mounted centrally on a hinge that allows the screen to be rotated and tilted. The operator interacts with the touchscreen display through various screens by touching the screen where indicated by the presence of buttons and tabs. The touchscreen is segmented into four areas. Message bar, status bar, displet area, and button bar. On the display, any light blue area is a touch interface. An action will occur by touching anywhere within the light blue area. The extra ATS is controlled primarily through displets, or display applets, which may be independently opened or closed as needed. The organization of the displets matches the spatial location of the various components of the auto transfusion system, reservoir, vacuum, collection bag, and waste bag. Control panel overview, opening and closing displets. A displet is a display applet which may be independently opened or closed. A closed displet has its content hidden, while an open displet's content is visible. Pressing the title bar of a closed displet opens it. Pressing the title bar of an open displet closes it. Control panel, activate and deactivate buttons. To activate a function, press the associated button. If the function is to remain engaged, the button will illuminate green. Control panel, modifying parameters. To modify the value of a text box, perform the following steps. First, touch the light blue text box. Then, change the parameter value using the up and down arrows that appear. And once the desired value is displayed, allow 30 seconds for automatic closure or touch the text box again to close it. The Help button. The Help screen is displayed by touching the Help button from any screen. From the Setup screen, the button displays disposable setup instructions, the software version, serial number, and hours of use. From any other screen, the button contains pertinent troubleshooting help. Touching the help button from any screen will display troubleshooting information about the current warning or alarm. 
Livanova Extra System Disposables. The disposable products used with Extra can be ordered in three different ways. One, Extra Procedure Set. Two, Collection Set and Bowl Sets. And three, Individual Components for Maximal Customization. The X-Res Blood Collection Reservoir. The Extra's Blood Collection Reservoir allows blood recovery both from an intraoperative field or from postoperative drains. It has a 3.7 liter capacity and an advanced multi-layer filtration system with an internal defoaming polyurethane layer, intermediate woven, non-woven filter, and an external containing net. A transparent body with volume indicators allows constant monitoring of the collected blood. A transparent lid allows visibility inside the inner filter. The extra blood collection reservoir features three 1 inch suction ports for the collection of blood, both intraoperatively and postoperatively. They are angled at 45 degrees to prevent occlusion from debris produced either in cardiac or non-cardiac surgery. One 3 inch suction port for intraoperative procedures for a 3 8 inch aspiration and anticoagulation line is used for chest tube drainage in postoperative cardiac surgery. One filtered and one non-filtered lure lock port for blood transfer or drug administration. A pressure self-relief valve opens at negative 255 millimeters mercury to avoid implosion of the reservoir. A float valve located under the vacuum port avoids overfilling of the reservoir. The attached yellow pull tab may be used to re-establish suction to the field if necessary. Two configurations are available. The X-Res T blood collection reservoir with top outlet connection to the bowl and quick reinfusion port for immediate transfusion of non-processed blood in case of extreme emergency. Currently, this reservoir is available with a 40 micrometer filter. The X-Res B blood collection reservoir with bottom outlet connection to the bowl and attached reservoir outlet line and clamp. The X-Res B reservoir is available with a 40 or 120 micrometer filter. The BX collection set. The BX collection set provides all the essential components to collect blood from either the intraoperative field or postoperative drains. It is a modular solution with each item packed and sterilized separately, allowing a cost-effective standby strategy. Collect first and process later if there is sufficient blood loss. This is an ideal option if processing is uncertain. This also provides the opportunity to select the appropriate bowl size based on blood loss. In its bottom configuration, it contains the X-Res T blood collection reservoir, the aspiration and anticoagulation line, AAL, and the vacuum extension line. The TX collection set. A top configuration is available as well and contains the X-Res T collection reservoir, the aspiration and anticoagulation line, and the vacuum line. The Cardio Kit. The Cardio Kit contains various adapters and tubing choices that can be used to add or modify the existing disposables for unique uses, such as quality control sampling or connection to an oxygenator. The x -Bowl Set. The x -Bowl Set provides the extra bowl and the related items to process the blood recovered from the intraoperative field and postoperative drains. It contains the extra bowl with pre-connected color-coded tubing and cartridge, a pre-connected blood collection bag, and a waste bag. It allows the clinician to choose the most appropriate bowl size, 55 milliliter, 125 milliliter, 175 milliliter, and 225 milliliter based on blood loss. This chart summarizes the primary situations and surgical specialties where each of the bowl sizes is preferred. The BX Procedure Set. The BX Procedure Set gathers in one package all of the necessary components to collect and process the blood recovered from the intraoperative field or postoperative drains. 
It is an all-in-one solution for blood collection and processing. It contains a BX collection set and a bowl set. The TX procedure set. A top configuration is available as well and contains a TX collection set, a bowl set, and a cardio kit. As with the BX procedure set, the TX procedure set is suitable for all surgical conditions due to the 3.7 liter reservoir and four bowl sizes. The sequestration set. The sequestration set is available for processing whole blood preoperatively collected in blood bags in conjunction with the extra bowl set. Installing the blood collection reservoir. Swing open the reservoir holder and raise it to the desired height. If using a bottom outlet reservoir, close the clamp on the bottom outlet line. Keep the locking clip on the reservoir holder open. Slide the edge of the reservoir lid into the slot of the holder. Push the reservoir into position. Release the locking clip. The inserted reservoir can be rotated 360 degrees. Anticoagulant preparation and selection. Power on the extra using the power switch on the back of the unit. The XFAC may be powered on now using the display on the module, or you may wait until the display screen on extra is fully booted. Raise the IV pole and display completely. Prepare a bag of anticoagulant solution by mixing 30,000 international units of heparin per liter of sterile injectable normal saline. Alternatively, a premixed sodium citrate solution such as ACDA may be used. Hang your choice of anticoagulant solution from the top IV pole hook. Take the following steps to set up the vacuum line. Open the VEL package. Using aseptic technique, attach one of the yellow capped ends of the vacuum line to the yellow cap vacuum port on the top of the reservoir. Placing the vacuum line in the groove on the handle prevents weight from being added to the reservoir, which can interfere with the auto start feature. Attach the other end of the line to the overflow trap of the XFAC system. Ensure the overflow trap is clean and dry. If XFAC has not yet been powered on, do so using the vacuum key on the display. Open the roller clamp on the AAL and allow 200 milliliters of anticoagulant solution to be drawn into the blood collection reservoir. This volume should ensure adequate wetting of the reservoir filter and breakthrough to outside the filter. Finally, set the anticoagulant drip to one to two drops per second. This rate should be adjusted depending on blood loss during the procedure. Maintain a one to five to one to 10 ratio of anticoagulant to blood. Connecting the aspiration and anticoagulant line, AAL, to the reservoir. Pass the AAL line to the sterile field per hospital protocol. Receive the split end of the AAL from the sterile field. Remove the orange cap of the one quarter inch tubing of the AAL and attach the tubing to any of the three quarter inch ports on the top of the reservoir. Close the roller clamp on the small board tubing and using aseptic technique, spike the anticoagulant solution. Take the following steps to install the ball set. Place the tray onto the two tray holders on the top right panel of the machine and open it. Open the centrifuge lid. Swing open the centrifuge arm. Unlatch and open the clamp lid latch. Remove the bowl and associated tubing from the tray. Remove the protective spacer from the upper part of the bowl. Tilt the bowl away from the machine, lower the bowl onto the turntable, and push the bowl straight down. Line up the pump loop cartridge by inserting the guide pin into the opening and pushing down. Push down on the hematocrit indicator cuvette. Ensure all three lines are in their respective grooves, then close the clamp lid latch and lock it. The depth guides ensure all lines are properly seated. Close the centrifuge arm by swinging it forward. 
Make sure the waste line is properly seated into the wash quality sensor. Close the centrifuge lid. Finally, connect the blue striped fill line to the reservoir outlet port and ensure the reservoir outlet clamp is open. Both are blue capped. Take the following steps to connect the wash lines to the saline solution containers. Hang the wash solution bags on the hooks provided. Remove the RBC bag from the tray, making sure the connection from the RBC bag to the RBC line is tight. The connection may sometimes loosen during shipping of the disposables. Then, close the clamps on the two other lines of the RBC bag. and hang it on the upper hanger of the IV pole. Close the slide clamp of one of the two yellow wash lines and spike the wash solution with the line left open. Take the following steps to hang the waste bag. Remove the waste bag from the tray. Remove the tray. Hang the waste bag on the two lower hangers located on the right panel of the machine. Connect the waste line to the waste bag. Both are white capped. Ensure the waste bag drainage port is completely closed. The waste line clamp is located in a pocket on the upper right of the waste bag. Setting up reservoirs in tandem, intended use. There are times when blood loss warrants the use of more than one reservoir, such as a transplant or trauma that results in catastrophic hemorrhage. To set up reservoirs in tandem, you will need to have the disposables set up, plus the additional following components. The tandem reservoir Y, which allows connection of the two reservoirs. Two blood collection reservoirs. A holder for the second reservoir, and an additional aspiration line and vacuum line. Setup of Tandem Reservoir Y. Install the reservoir holder on the IV pole. Install the second reservoir. Connect the second reservoir to a secondary vacuum source. Close all of the clamps on the tandem reservoir Y. Connect each of the blue-capped female connectors of the tandem reservoir Y to the two blood collection reservoir's outlet ports. Finally, connect the blue-capped male connector of the tandem reservoir Y to the blue-capped female connector of the wash set. If using bottom reservoirs, ensure both reservoir clamps are open to both reservoirs and the wash set. If you are aiming for faster processing, you may opt to engage the emergency protocol for the fastest processing. Warning, when processing blood, please make sure that there is never more than one unclamped connection between a blood collection reservoir and the wash set at any given time. Attempting to simultaneously process blood from both blood collection reservoirs used in tandem may result in malfunction.